about sex determination. We know that male and female participate in sexual reproduction. Since both sexes participate in sexual reproduction, probability of offspring being a male or a female is equal. It is therefore interesting to know whether a zygote will develop into a male or a female. The development of zygote into male or female during reproduction is called sex determination. The sex determination of an organism depends on various factors. For example, sex determination in some organisms depends on the environment, such as in some animals like reptiles, the temperature at which the fertilized egg is kept determines whether the offspring will be a male or a female. Some animals, such as snails, may change their sex. That means the sex determination in snails is not genetic. Sex determination in humans is genetically determined. Let's understand the sex determination in humans. In the previous video, we learned that the expression of a trait depends on the gene. Sex determination of zygote also depends on genes. Humans have a total of 46 chromosomes which make 23 pairs of chromosomes. Out of these, 22 pairs of chromosomes, that is, 44 chromosomes, are the same in male and female. They have no role in determining the sex of the zygotes. These are called somatic chromosomes. But one pair in the 23 pairs of chromosomes differ in male and female. In females, both chromosomes of this pair are of normal size, which we denote by XX. But in males, the chromosomes of this pair are different. Of these, the chromosome of normal size is represented by X and the chromosome of smaller size is represented by Y. The sex of zygote is determined on the basis of these chromosomes, that is, X and Y. Therefore, we call these chromosomes the sex chromosomes. In this way, pair of sex chromosomes in males is XY and in the females, the pair of sex chromosomes is XX. When a male sperm is produced in a male, 23 pair of chromosomes are divided in such a way that one chromosome of each pair is acquired by each sperm cell. In this way, half the sperms have X chromosomes and half the sperm have Y chromosome. Since the sex chromosome in females is XX, therefore, all the reproductive cells, that is X, have X chromosome. During fertilization, if the sperm with the X chromosome fuses with egg containing X chromosome, the sex chromosome of zygote produced will be XX, which will develop female traits. But if the sperm with Y chromosome fuses with the egg containing X chromosome, then the sex chromosomes of zygote will be XY, which develops male traits. Since half of sperms have X chromosome and half of sperms have Y, therefore, the probability of zygote being male is same as that of being a female. Similarly, all children get an X chromosome from the mother so, their sex determination depends on the chromosome obtained from the father. If the child inherits the X chromosome from the father, then it will be a girl child. And if the child inherits Y chromosome from the father, then the child will be a boy. This happens completely at random. So, it is wrong to hold the father or mother responsible for not having an infant of any particular gender. Think about this.
सो टूडे वी हैव लर्न अबाउट सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन